Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design concrete columns and concrete shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design for a model that was created and analyzed in STAD Pro. In this particular video, we're still working on setting up our model for design, and one of those steps includes entering all of your design and detailing settings. You can find those settings through the settings menu bar item in STAD Advanced Concrete Design. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk our way through these first four options, starting with the design settings. In the design settings dialog, you can enter several pieces of information that will control how the program designs and details your concrete columns and shear walls. For this particular model, we're going to select this first option to perform a ductal design. This will tell STAD Advanced Concrete to design and detail the concrete columns with the ductility requirements. When selecting this option, you're going to tell the program whether or not you're going to consider your columns as part of an intermediate or special moment frame. For this particular model, we're going to go with a special moment frame with a response modification coefficient of 3.0. Then we're going to review the rest of the different options, including the effective length factor. Now the effective length factor for each section will be calculated by STAD Advanced Concrete Design. These values can be viewed and edited if needed. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the optimized design option. Using this option, the program will suggest a combination of different bar diameters in one section when automatic design is performed. The detailing would be more efficient as compared to all bar diameters in a section being the same. We'll also go ahead and review the rest of the default parameters and we'll keep everything else set to the defaults. At this point, let's go ahead and click OK. In addition to that, we can also take a look at our frame type tab within our design input table. As you can see, the program automatically entered this information based on the design settings we just entered. Since those are global settings, you do have the option to modify that information on a column by column or shear wall by shear wall basis through this table. In addition to that, let's return to the settings menu option and take a look at our reinforcement settings. Here you can tell the program how to detail the reinforcement, including the types of reinforcing bars that you would like to be used as candidates for the optimized column design. We're going to review all of this information, customize it to your project standards, and click OK. Next. Let's return to the settings menu bar item again and select the detailing and drawing settings. Now STAD Advanced Concrete Design can create full construction and detailing drawings for your concrete elements, including your reinforcement bars and your bar bending schedules. Here you can customize how some of that information will appear in your drawings. Lastly, we're going to return to the settings menu bar option again and select the zone and rebar settings. Here you can enter your parameters per your project specifications and then we'll go ahead and click OK. At this point we finished customizing the settings for our particular model and we're ready to move on in our workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.